Hello friends, my name is Ashu and welcome to another scary game. This one is called Something in the Well. Gotta say, I'm way too young for this. The last and first well that I have ever seen in my life was the one in the movie Ring. Though I'm ready for new experiences. Except the dildo. I'm not getting pick. Not at all. Hello there. Hi. Okay. Outlast this time. I like that. I like that a lot. Way too quiet. Wait. Yeah. Might be better right now, yes. I'm not going out there, why not? What is out there? I'm not gonna waste my battery. Oh, a dog. Uh, hello? She's asleep. <sighs> At least one of us is relaxed. What happened? Okay. Are you awake, girl? Oh, you have poo poo? Poo poo time. Oh, no. Someone else is having a poo poo. Something's gotten her woke up. Okay. We are just jumping to different scenarios, huh? Wait, uh, my camera is not great. Or rather, my angle. Oh god, well, now I'm going out there. I'm gonna name you, Dougie. Your name shall be... Marcella. Why not? Hey, Marcella, come back. You horny little dog. I know you're out there looking for peepees. I know my dog. Come back, come on. It's not mating uh, season. You don't belong to the jungle. Oh, okay, that's your name then. Is she in the well? Come back. Oh, oh, I'm in the well now. Wow, uh, I wasn't expecting that, and I'm now going the wrong way. I guess there is no wrong way. Who's briefing? So heavily. Molly! Come on. Come back. God, this is a good place, though. You can play so many games here. Especially hide and seek would be sick over here. Where are you, Molly? Okay, I guess I'm dead. What is that? Church. Let's go. The statics are great. I love this. Uh, I'm the father now. Oh, wow. Okay. What did I just do? Sick. Anything in here? This is depressing, though. I don't like it. It's not a scary, it's depressing. It's making me sad. Especially now that I am sad by myself. It's bad. Is that a child? No. Yeah. Unlucky. Oh, it's my dog. Oh, my bad. Hey, Molly. Nice skeleton. What now? Maybe it's not my dog, because, you know, there are too many bones for a dog. Two rib cages? It's not normal. Oh, maybe my dog was pregnant. That could be cool. A cool concept. A theory. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Are you inside? Oh, you are. Well, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, that was something. I'm running away. Let's go. As I said, I'm sad all by myself already. Life's been pretty busy these days. As maybe you have noticed, I haven't been able to upload daily. Uh, all these classes at my university and... You know, 
I've got a job now and beside that it's just every day is so busy. Oh great. And now this guy is sucking me off. Alright. Sucked my soul out. What is that? No bodies were found, were ever found. Not a bad game, it was fun and brief. Bear with me for a few more seconds, I gotta finish what I was saying. I don't want to pretend that I don't have any free time or that I'm always busy, working, you know, hustling. No, I'm not that. It's normal, everyday business. But the circumstances that I'm put into are making things difficult. For example, a big part of me was and is going to the gym, leading me to having a high-protein diet for the past four years. But unfortunately, I had to stop eating so much protein, you know, making protein shakes, taking creatine. I, I'm not unnatural, I don't take steroids, obviously. And if you're wondering, it's because of my kidney problems. Even though I'm still going to the gym, my workouts are not inspired anymore. I feel like no matter how hard I try in the gym, no matter how heavy I lift, it doesn't make a difference because I'm not eating the right things. No matter what actions I take, the mindset, the body that I've spent three years shaping, building, they are all going downhill and there is nothing I can do about it. I'm feeling fat, lazy, unproductive, with no value. This small change alone has affected my life so much that it has left me feeling weak. Most days I wake up at 6 a.m., go to my classes, come back, go up to my German classes. By the way, I've started learning German. It's pretty fun and fucking annoying. And then when everything is done, I go to the gym till like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. When I come back, I don't feel anything inside of me anymore. I can't record. And I don't like it. Recording these stupid, meaningless videos have been a big part of me for so long that if I don't record them, I feel empty. And even in times that I'm tired, I can't accept not doing it. From one side, my spirit is willing, but my body isn't. I know that I'm not making any kind of sense, but I just had to throw it out there. The weight of you not being able to be what you want because of the things around you that you can't control is just way too much. I don't want to be the normal, average guy. I don't want to give up on my body and my mindset and my dreams. And I won't. Please don't take me for an ungrateful little bastard. I'm not that. I count myself as extremely lucky for the things that I have. I'm not a starving. I'm not thirsty. I don't have any deadly illnesses. No, I have a lovely family. I have a roof above my head. I have a beautiful, kind girlfriend. I can't be more grateful. And all I can do is just hope that I can achieve what I want to be. Thank you guys for listening and watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I love you for existing. See you in the next one. Goodbye.